Hi guys, it's Holly Astral, and today I wanted to talk about something that's relevant as the sort of sun is shining. Well, kind of in England, the sun is kind of shining, it's sunny today. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to care for your tattoos long term, exposure to the sun and what you can do. Um, so, you know when you see really old tattoos and they're all blurry, the lines are blurry, they might have gone kind of fluffy, maybe the black parts of the tattoo has gone um, blue or grey or green, that usually is sun. Well, it's a combination of things. It's old inks and old techniques, but also sun, exposure to the sun. So the number one thing that drains the life out of your tattoos is exposure to the sun. And by that, I mean not, I mean not particularly just getting sunburn, which obviously will fuck them up, but um, long-term, low-level exposure to the sun. So if you want to keep them looking fresh and vibrant and nice, you should always put some sunblock on them before you go out, even if you don't think it's a sunny day. Um, and 100 per million percent, especially if you are sunbathing. It's the same way that you would on your face, like a, you know, a moisturizer with an SPF in it. Like I always put it all over anywhere I've got tattoos. I mean to be fair I really hate getting a tan so I'm always covered in I put p20 and then I put factor 50 sunblock over the top and then I probably wear a cardigan because I'm cold um, but that's just me um, but yeah you should always keep them covered up and you should wear some sunblock too so obviously as it gets sunnier you know you kind of take your cardigan off for the first time in months and remember that you have a body underneath and you think oh I want to get a tattoo before I go on holiday just make sure you plan it far ahead um, there is a reason why you your tattoo artist will say to you, I mean if they're a responsible tattoo artist, they will say to you that you need at least two weeks, preferably a month, in between getting the tattoo and going on your holiday because you don't want to be going on holiday with a nearly healed tattoo. Um, partly because of the sun, partly because of, you know, if you're going on a plane it can make you swell and do weird things to your skin, it can dry you out, none of those are good for a healing tattoo. If you know, you're in a different environment, you might forget to clean it. If you're going somewhere sandy like a beach, then you definitely don't want to be taking a new tattoo there. Because if you only get one little bit of muck in it, and it makes a weird scab around it, and then that spoils that bit of the tattoo, it might not be fixable and you'll be gutted and you'll wish that you'd have just waited until you got back to get the tattoo. So yeah, let me speak for tattoo artists everywhere when I say please put some sunblock on your tattoo if you're going out, especially if you're sunbathing, but even if you're not. And if you want to keep them looking bright and crispy and sharp and colourful for as long as possible, it's the number one thing that you can do. So thanks for taking the time to watch my video. I've got a bunch more Ask a Tattoo Artist videos and I'll post a link to the playlist down below. If you've got a question, you can always ask me in the comment section or you can send me an email. And that's it. If you want to see more of my tattoo work, you can find me on Instagram. My name is at holly underscore astral. I'll post a link to that below. Also, thanks for watching. Bye.